Hello my fellow aliens, I'm the Lady of Nemesis and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Last time we met up with a few more friends and played some games at the arcade with Jack. She also had us meet her new pet, a variant she named Izo. Right now it's finally time for the party we've been working towards. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Let's keep things relaxed. Certainly, Commander. I'll ensure music remains at an appropriate volume and arrange for some refreshments. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. <laughs> nice ink. But you got a long way to go to catch up. Nah, I just got this when I lost my squad a few years ago. Hey, what's the story behind that? And... How far down does it go? Tactful, as always. What? I'm just wondering. I like tattoos. <laughs> hey, Shepard. Are you gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? We don't get this on college clubs. Great so far. This is really nice. It's great. Quiet. After the excitement of a mission, it's a good quiet, right? But if it got a little crazier, I'd be okay with that. Relax, the night is young. I like it like this. You got it, boss. I'm just happy to be kicking back. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. So how about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. And at least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. 
You people watching tonight, Edie? Participant observation. That sounds less friendly. It's actually quite the opposite. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always wanted one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, keeping the hard liquor under lock and key? Otherwise, I'd have to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR-3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. Even I get confused by Quarian names sometimes. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. Protein gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. Is that a joke? So who is strongest, you or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. what I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. That's what I meant. No, it isn't. Baby Pijack here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. Huh, we should leave these two lovebirds alone. Let's not. I'd rather not buy new furniture. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. In my cycle, too many people in one room risked a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? <laughs> My bad. Funny. But you have no plans after Edie? Someone more human? Uh, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. 
Wow, this is quite the apartment. No point. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? <laughs> in my dreams, I have a place just like this, overlooking the Pacific. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always haunts that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. By that measure, Shepard would have made a good Justicar. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope she took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. Ever since I was Three years later, you're eating her food. I'd call that progress. A good story. What? I knew Joker before you. Your guests appear to be enjoying this relaxed atmosphere. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? I think it's time to turn things up a bit. I will arrange for up-tempo music and additional cocktails right away, Commander. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarif. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarif and raise you Azoria, home of toxic spores and athletes' law. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka, and Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey, guys. Talking shop? No worries. This is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot? That's no good. I mean, what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker's body count is plenty high. You don't need to take him anywhere. This is not about me knocking Joker. This is about being prepared for the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with the Krogan. You mean you would have wounded him? Ha! Ah. And maybe we should drink. To brains as well as guns. Done. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. Hey, sweetheart. We never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well... And we're both good-looking. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. 
Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. That a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. Should I find somewhere else to be? No! No, no, I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive corp? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? Told you. Tolly, please stop helping. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair's fair, trainer. 
Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in Trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. Awkward. How many bedrooms does this place have? This is a thing. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. I'm just saying. What I'm trying to say is, I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument, the peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it, I get that. I mean it, check me out. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer, don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Lola, you have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Hey, Liara, check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> Ugh, goddess. I'm gonna have to go with James on this one. Oh, thanks, Shepard. Biotics are a little intangible when there's an example of physical excellence standing in front of you. Nice. Wow, Shepard. Did you really just say that? Don't worry, Caden. Your kind of physical excellence is still my kind of physical excellence. Check it out. I can also roll my tongue. Oh, my. That's... Shepard, if that's your decision, I support you. Always. James, please stop doing that. Hey, <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Except when you're not. And, uh, in that case, find me later. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. 
Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really, no. Get lost. <laughs> no. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. Uh, no. Great work. Felt good. Thanks. No. See, easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Jeb? Yes, Udi? At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. <laughs> so he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. He will not. Well, I will. Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged baron. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. Trevor! So here's where the party's at. Goddamn right. Come to hang out with the popular kids, Shepard. Easier to talk back here. What do you think of the music? Great? Bad? What? Not as good as in your cycling age, Avic. Am I right? Not even remotely. Knew it. Well, maybe we can leg wrestle later. Perfect end to a perfect evening. Sure. Absolutely. I'll look for you later then, maybe. I got a fist. And one day, the Protean Empire will rise again, and all the primitives will kneel before Johnny. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time? Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then? Watch and learn. Hell yeah. Ha, go for it. Captain on deck. Has she always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this.
place and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. Glad you could make it, kissing me. Hey, I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. Earlier than I expected. I kind of thought they'd have a camo pattern. One hundred and sixty. Anyone counting? Miranda? <laughs> Absolutely. I think you're just fantastic. How many have I done? Keep going. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little physical supremacy. But can you do that with a drink and a snack in each hand? Sure. Ugh. Wow. Why is Caden lapping you? Don't act so surprised. Jacob is showing you up. How come? What do you mean? This is my thing, baby. You seem a little slow tonight, James. Well, nobody's perfect. How's it going on your end? <laughs> okay, now. Let's find a more fun way to get sweaty. Come on, let's dance. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. Hey, everyone! Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way! Make way! Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay, everyone say Normandy. Normandy! See if anyone else is up. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. 
Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Shepard, good morning. I am going to die. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? Hey, you look like shit. Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Caden, here's some eggs to go with that coffee. Rex? I think I broke my head on something last night. Now that was a great time. Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So, last night, I didn't... do anything, did I? Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. we better get back to it at least we threw one hell of a party probably the last one <laughs> Shepard you uh you will find a way to win I know it and when you do I'll be waiting yeah greatest challenge of my life and the greatest reward. It's been a good ride. <laughs> the best.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.